Tattooing, definitely. I also paint, but I spend a lot more time tattooing. My dad was a really great artist, and so as soon as I could hold a pencil or a crayon or, you know, I wanted to do like he did. So I've always drawn. I've dabbled in a lot of different mediums, but it was only when I started tattooing that I was like, ah, this is it, you know? Because before that, I had a lot of preconceived notions about the types of people that got tattoos and stuff. You know, like as a kid, I was like, especially back, you know, 80s and 90s and stuff, the people that had tattoos were kind of scary to me. They were older, they seemed like bikers or convicts or something to me, and I was like, ugh. But then my cousin got some work from Eric Payne, and he got a lot of work from him, and it was really cool. So when I was a teenager, he was showing me all this stuff that Eric Payne had tattooed on him, and uh, I was like, oh, I had no idea that tattoos could be that cool. And, you know, big and artistic and different. So then I got a tattoo just kind of on a whim, and I was like, yes, this is it, you know, this is the right medium. For me, I, I just have to make things. It doesn't matter what it is. I have to make things, whether, like right now, I'm really focused on like remodeling my house. Um, it doesn't really matter what it is. I really have to create stuff. I also make music, you know. Sometimes it's time to paint, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's time to tattoo for 12 hours a day. Sometimes it's not, you know. But as long as I'm making something, um, that's the only drive. Because without it, without making stuff, it's really hard for me to keep um, a good attitude. But if I make things, I always have a good attitude. People here love tattoos. Oh my gosh, like, seriously. There's, I mean, don't tell all the other tattooers in the world, but it is a wonderful place. People want big, cool tattoos, and they want lots of them. We're a very heavily tattooed community. Per capita, and I travel a lot, I haven't seen very many cities that are as heavily tattooed per capita as Boise, Idaho. So it's a funny, it's like kept well like a secret, but um, it's, it's a great place for tattooing. I didn't go to college to have like a, as a art major. I did go to college uh, initially, but I did not go as an art major because I didn't, I couldn't think of a job that I wanted that would involve art. I didn't want to be a graphic designer. You know, I didn't want to be a starving artist either. So when I went to college, I was like, I don't know, I'll figure it out, I guess. And then I got my first tattoo. And then I stopped going to college because I was like, I want to be a tattoo artist. But um, it's, I'm just super grateful because I realize it's um, difficult as an artist to make a living doing what you do. And um, yeah, I just try and make sure that I'm worthy of it, you know, work hard to try and maintain that. and keep the keep the good work coming. I remember being a, a young tattooer and thinking, oh, I wish I had a style of my own. You know, looking at older tattooers and being like, gosh, their style is just so, so them, you know? I wish I had a style. And it just comes with time. And eventually you do enough tattoos that your understanding of what makes a good tattoo becomes more and more set in stone and that that in and of itself is what kind of develops one's style so after a while it's unavoidable so now i'm like man i wish i could draw a tattoo that didn't look like a darcy tattoo <laughs> you know because tattooing is a very it's a small motor skill kind of art right like um like i think about people with a little eye loop that paint the little miniatures little like you know, like that takes some very precision motor skills and so does tattooing. And those machines are kind of heavy and you gotta have really good eyesight. And not only do your hands have to be precision, but your arms and your posture and everything is very precision. So at some point it's gonna go, you know, it's just true. Yeah. You don't see a lot of tattooers uh, tattooing past the age of like 65, you know. So after that I hope to become more of a painter then I would have a lot more time to paint, maybe sculpting, I don't know. I always actually wanted to do stop motion animation as actually my secret alternate like dream job because um, I think that's super cool, like moving art's really, really, really cool. But So I, I look forward to when the day comes that I shouldn't be holding a tattoo machine anymore, I'll be doing something else. Like I said, I have to make things, so I have no doubt no doubt that I'll always be making things to the extent that my body will let me, you know.